2022 went by really fast, but making way, way out there took much, much longer than I'd expected. My last book, Little Wolf Only, took nine months to create from inception to the print ready manuscript. Now, I didn't have to wait for paint to dry since I was using dry media. And also, I didn't do any thumbnail sketches for that book. I went straight at it, doing the underdrawings on the actual paper where I would color it in. This time, I drew the entire book, way, way out there, all 120 pages, in a small A5 sketchbook using graphite pencil and rendered the tonal values in great detail to help me plan out the painting and how pigmented certain areas would be. So that served its purpose, but the last video that I made, which is in December 2021, that was right before I got started painting. And what happened then was 2022. And that came with a lot of surprises and a lot of things that were outside my control that took away a lot of my free time and a lot of my energy. So I had that problem to solve. How do I finish a book with much less time in my hands and much less energy um, in me? So I had to rethink a few things. That meticulous planning that I did with the paint brushes, the square brushes, the flat brushes that I thought would make sense and facilitate easier painting for my square edged character design, my pointy cornered character design. I had to rethink that and realize that I could actually get more mileage much faster if I just stuck with round brushes. So I got a couple more round brushes and dedicated one brush to cool colors and the other brush to warm colors to lessen the time that I spend washing them. And then just got another brush for the finer details. So that helped a little bit speed things up. Another thing that I learned, because I was forced to think of a solution to paint the pages much faster, is to paint several pages at a time, at the same time. So I would paint it in batches. There was a point where I think I was painting five pages at a time, only because they were in sequence, but at the same time, they were using these, the same color palette. They were daytime sketches, say, or nighttime sketches. So batching it that way allowed me to just mix the colors once or twice or just a few times and just paint the areas using that particular mixture uh, one at a time in batches instead of painting per panel where I have to do a lot of mixing and repeat again when I moved on to the next panel. So that was another thing that I ended up doing, but using traditional media, you can't really avoid making mistakes. That's part of the process. And so I had to repaint a number of pages as well. Especially when you're running out of energy and I was literally nodding off while painting a number of them and so would paint past the, the line or, or the area that I was supposed to paint. Uh, some of them could be just lifted off the paper, especially if your, your paint wasn't loaded with a lot of pigment. So it's not so bad, but sometimes it's really bad. But what helped was the light box, since in this process of creating thumbnails, I was able to scan the thumbnails, blow it up 
to the actual size of the final artwork. So I used that printout to trace onto the painting paper using the light box. So if I had to redo a page, since I already have that printout copy of the thumbnail, I can just retrace, redraw it without or with minimal uh, mental effort. So you just have to trace the, my drawing, my own lines. And so I did that for a number of pages where I made a mistake because I was just pushing myself and dozing off. But eventually I was able to uh, come with a, a decent painted version of those pages and I got to move on. Now, these illustrations, they're, they're joy to, to create, especially with way, way out there where it really takes you out there to different landscapes and atmospheres. Where my experience of creating Little Wolf felt more like creating music for your eyes. Creating Way Way Out There felt more like a, a purifying experience. Because it pushed me to the edge of what I can tolerate and enjoy at the same time. 